I like I would like to believe that I've been married that long. We're gonna ride this out. We we gonna stay in counseling if we got to go two, three times a week. You know, if we need a break, I'm going to go and sleep in the guest room a night, even take a night. Ego is out of control. You need somebody who can reel you in to keep you together and keep you intact. You know, there's already been some, some testimony that was just like, what? Like they're shooting shots at each other, talking about each other. For those of you that don't mean, don't know what shooting shots is, it's not literally shooting a gun. It's they're just into it. They're arguing. Hey, love bugs! Welcome to my channel. Let's discuss with author L. A. Logan. Today is Wednesday, August twenty fifth. Pretty sure it's the twenty fifth, and we are on our way to run a couple errands. So I thought I'd take you along with me, per usual. So, are you ready to get into it? I know I am. Let's discuss. Just hanging out with So guys, how is everybody doing? I hope this finds you happy, healthy, and blessed. As you can see, I'm back home. Um, you saw the vlog before this one. It was my birthday vlog when I went home to surprise my friend for her birthday. Um... So yeah, I've been back home for a few days now and I haven't picked up the camera since I've been back home because I was exhausted and I, I just needed some time to woosah and just, yeah, I was just tired. So um, we're on our way right now to um, get my glasses fixed. I think I told you guys, maybe I didn't, that I broke the arm on my glasses. And so they called me today to tell me that... Um, my new frames came in and it was under warranty so my new frames came in so I'm on my way to get the frame switched out and then we have a dentist appointment after that and so I thought I would take you with me to get those two things done I'm not real sure how long this vlog is going to be if we're just going to end it with the dentist visit or if we um, are going to carry it on for another day or so um I literally have not been doing anything um I started back to school for those of you that's been with me for a while you remember that I stopped taking classes just because my life was just too hectic and I thought my head was going to explode um so I, I took a year off has it been a year did I take a semester off? First off, I have no sense of time because I, it's just every day. It's almost like um, 51st dates. Like every day almost seems like it's the same day. <laughs> so I can't remember. I know I took, maybe I took two semesters off, which is a year basically. Uh, but anyway, I started back this past Monday. Another reason why I haven't picked up the camera um, I'm seriously going to try to allocate my time so that I'm not so busy um, where I get overwhelmed because I have a lot going on. Um, I should have, you know, when I keep thinking about it, I'm like, maybe I should have waited until January to go back because the fourth quarter is, you know, fall is always like super busy for me, but I've already done it. I've already started doing homework. I already turned in some assignments. <clears throat> excuse me so it is what it is we're there so yeah I am um, back in school so I'm gonna try to commit to doing at least one video um, a week um, it just depends on what I've got going on I will be vlogging my school experience at times just because that's going to be a part of what I do each day. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know that I'll be doing like several vlogs a week. Not that I do that now, but sometimes I do have at least two a week. I'm not real sure that I'm going to be able to commit to doing two vlogs a week because the recording is not the problem. It's the editing that, oops, 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 oops. It's the editing that sometimes tends to um, be a challenge because I've got to actually sit down and make the time to edit. 
and then I'm working on some projects that um, have to do with my books. You guys know, for those of you that are that may be new, I am a published author, um, and I have um, six books. Maybe I'll do a, um, a video where I'm talking about that, giving everybody an update. Um, I am excited that we do have new people to our channel, so welcome. We're so glad to have you. Um, we are still doing our 100 subscriber challenge um, and I need to start putting that in the um, description that we're on our way to 100 subscribers I'm I'm excited about it I know some people are like 100 subscribers yeah I remember when I only had like three subscribers then I remember when I thought I could never get to 20 and then I thought I remember when I didn't think I would ever get to 50 so it's a slow process for me um, I think it's, you know, maybe I'm not for everybody. I don't know, but I have to stay true to who I am. You know, I see people who are doing things that may not necessarily be who they are, but they're doing it because it gets them views and it gets them subscribers. And I'm just not there. I just can't see myself doing it. Not knocking anybody that does that because it's, you know, preference and you do have to change with the trends, but I am not, I'm just not there yet. I really want to do it organically and because people like who I, who I am transparently. Like I'm not, I can't be something that I'm not. Just, I just can't. I'm just, it's just not who I am. I want you to get the authentic me just like I want you to be the authentic you, you know. Um, when you leave me comments, um, sometimes I get emails from people. You know, I enjoy meeting you all that way and and you know following you and seeing how you are in your everyday life at least what you put out to the world anyway so anyway guys we've made it to um the eye doctor and i think i have to call them to let them know that i'm here i don't think i can just walk up to the door um i was trying to think of what all is going on in the news the one thing that come to my mind is that Aaliyah's One in a Million CD um, has been um, authorized for use or play. Um, her estate's not happy about that, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I rock, I care. I'm going to help you. Hi, Come I'm on, this is coming to get my um, glasses fixed. Okay. Can I come in now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Um, her estate's not happy about it, and I really don't understand it. I think we already talked about this a little bit. I don't really understand it based off what I've read. As you, can, you heard, I've been enjoying a little bit of it. Um, I like all types of music. I listen to gospel. I listen to um, R&B some rap because you know I have a teenage son um well he's not a teenager anymore he's 20 now but I'm I'm a, I'm a well I consider myself a well-rounded person so as I've always said if you are like super deep person super deep spiritually that anything natural to you is just not of God then my channel is probably not for you and it's okay um just pray for me don't talk about me but I'm I just consider myself well well rounded like I don't I want to know what's going on in the world culturally you know I don't want to just be in a box if that makes sense but anyway let me put my mask on we've got to go we do have another stop we've got to make we're going to the hair store to see if they have any more masks that look like this because what she sold me in that box what I told you guys it looks like this this is not what I want. I want this one. This one's a little better. So anyway, let's go in. This is what my, this is what I broke. <laughs> okay. I wanted to put on, where's my other mask? Did I take them inside to wash them? Nope, here it is. I do need to wash them though. I'm pretty sure I need to wash them because I've been out of town and back. Yes, I am still double masking. 
even though I'm vaccinated. Because like I said, Delta ain't going to get me. Okay, guys, let's go in. Yes, I'm, I'm okay. Find it. Alrighty, I'll get these ones and switch it out for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, okay. Because I, I mean, they're in here snug, but. Mm -hmm. So, how long do you think it'll take to get them back? It shouldn't take long. I'm going to call them right now. Okay. And I already have them going for you. Okay. You want me to hold on to this? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go clean these for you and I'll bring them right back. Okay. So I will get those ordered for you and as soon as they come in, I'll give you a call, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you so You're much. Okay, guys, as you saw, we didn't get our glasses fixed. And I think I scratched my face putting these things back on. So what happened is the frame that she ordered for my lenses, were it, it's too big, <clears throat> and my lenses weren't fitting inside the frame snug. Um, and it's the exact same lens, so she's not sure why. Like, you could easily just pop the lens out. So what she's going to have to do is order me. She's going to just send um, them to the manufacturer. Like, she's, she says she's going to order warranty lenses. And so that way they'll replace the lenses and the glasses and she'll know for sure that it's a snug fit she doesn't know how long that's going to take um and i mean i've been wearing my contact lenses um and then i have to wear readers with my contact lenses um and i really only like use my glasses like around the house i mean i'm okay because i mean when i'm around the house i really don't even have my glasses on unless I'm watching TV or something like that. But for the most part, like when I'm working, I don't have my glasses on. So, I mean, it's not like I'm in dire stray, but it's just like when I do have to put my glasses on, it is so annoying that this part is broken and it's metal and it scratches when I um, put it on. So, and I usually don't get these type of frames. I don't know what I was thinking. I feel like I was being rushed because I think we talked about this when I got them. I feel like I was being rushed. And so I just grabbed some glasses, but I usually don't get metal um, arms or whatever you want to call it just because um, this bending they bend easier to me they break easier to me and so i usually don't it's been years since i've gotten arms that were metal so i i was tripping that day i was rushing is what i was doing and then she didn't clean my glasses very well <sighs> and i think i took my glass my thing in the house that i use Thank you, God. Oh, guys. So that's where we're at. Um, we're going to go ahead and head to our dentist appointment. We're about 30 minutes 
early. We'll probably be about 20 or 25 minutes early, 20, 15 or 20 minutes early because we're really not that far from where my dentist office is. Um, we'll go there. I'm trying to think if there's anything over here that I want to stop at before I go to the dentist office, but I, I don't think there is. So, that's where we're at. I can't remember if there was a thing right there or not. I don't think it is, though. I hate it when I can't remember if there's like a little median. I don't know what you want to call it. And then I'll, I'll forget that no, there wasn't. And then I'll run over it. Oh, so annoying. But anyway, guys, um, we're going to head to the dentist office. Um... Again, I don't think there's anything that I want to talk about that's been in the news. Actually, there is something I wanted to talk about that's in the news. Um, so, President Biden, and we might have talked about, talked about this okay, already. Because I, I can't remember when I last picked up the camera and what I said. I, I apologize. And I'm behind on editing like really behind if you've been keeping up with my vlogs then you you already know how behind i am but i'm not wasting any footage not gonna do it nope 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 um but president biden has moved to get the troops out and um apparently there's been some concern expressed that the date needs to be pushed back i think the deadline is the 28th and a lot of um is that my uncle like his wife Lexus. Anyway, um, a lot of um, of our allies and some of the some of his party members are saying that the date needs to be pushed back because they don't think that they'll be able to have all of the Americans and the allies that helped us in Afghanistan. They really don't think they'll be able to have them all out um, by the 28th and they're they're moving up to like 21,000 people a day that's a lot of people in my opinion but I don't know how that works it may not be a lot of people I don't know but um a lot of people a lot of his, Biden's critics are saying that he needs to push the date back well even if he pushed the date back from what I've heard on the news and read the Taliban I think that's who took over. There's like two different like groups over there. The Taliban and it's another one. I'll put it across the screen. They have said, we don't care how, how if you how and if you get it done, you have until the 28th. After the 28th, it's gonna be a problem. So even if he wanted to push the date back. If the Taliban is there, it's another group. Why well, can't anyway? If they're saying we're not going to work with you or we're not going to accommodate you in, in an extension of your deadline, what do y'all want him to do? Because I can't see us going in there, bringing back a whole ton of other troops to basically start the war back up again. Um, I should have turned that way. Yep, I should have turned that way to start the war back up again um, in order to get everybody out I mean it, it would be to me it's it would I don't I mean we can do whatever we want to do we are the United States but I think it's going to be problematic either way it goes I guess is what I'm saying whether he meets the deadline or if he doesn't it's going to be a problem um, because if he if he, this little thing scares me all the time, the way the light is. Um, either he's going to have problems. If they can't get everybody out on the 20th, which is, they're saying that it's not possible. It's going to be a, some consequences, whether some people are not going to make it. Or it, he's going to have to send in the troops to, to basically bomb up a bunch of stuff so that we can get some territory to be able to get people out. But it's kind of like, where are all these people at? Are they all at the airport or are some of them, um, you know, in hiding? It's because I've heard that, that a lot of people that are allies are in hiding. So 
how are you going to get them out? I mean, and, and we don't need to know that. Like, to me, that does not need to be public because that's part of the problem. I think we put too much out there and they knew what we were doing. And so they, you know, they one-upped us. Oh, Jesus. They one-upped. I'm sorry. I just saw some craziness with the police and some other stuff. Y'all, sorry. They one-upped us, basically, before we could really get done what we needed to get done they want up to us because i think we put too much out there we should have just moved in silence as they say so it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out i mean i just think about a lot of contractors who are not in the military but were just over there working um you know how are they going to ensure how do they know where to go it's just a lot of unknowns but you know the government can listen in on your conversations and do all other stuff without you knowing surely surely they got a plan to get these folks out and if it and if they don't get them out by the 28th you know they said they were working on a plan b c and d but i really would like to think they already got that in place because i mean you are the united states we are the united states surely we not slipping that bad surely so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Definitely need to be praying. Praying for people who are over there still trying to get back home. Because that's got to be a very uneasy feeling. You know? Because the 28th is what? Is that Sunday? Saturday? Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. So, that's got to be a very uneasy feeling. Like, wow. Wow. Um, so we've made it to the dentist office. I was going to talk about something else. Um, what was I going to talk about? Because we're early. We're really early. We're like 20 minutes early. Um, but I wonder if, if I can go in. I might go ahead and go in. The earlier we can get in, maybe the earlier we can get out. But yeah, that's what's going on with us trying to evacuate. I mean, I understand why President Biden um, um, is wanting us to evacuate or to get everyone out because when is when was it going to ever end? You know, and and it's it sounds like the way that the reporting has been and some specialists have weighed in that they were never going to be able to take control no matter how many years we were over there or keep control no matter how many years we were over there they just didn't have the skill set or the ability to do it without help and it's kind of like we went over there because of 9-11 and then we kind of just got just stayed over there for 20 years we've been over there and it's kind of like when is it going to end and it's it's a it's a harsh reality um could some things maybe have been done different? Absolutely. I totally, because I, I just, it, it happened so fast. Um, but it, it was a necessary thing that we needed. It, it was just time to end it. I mean, at 20 years, if either you're going to be able to do it or you're not, it's just, it's, it's just, it's one of those things that just keeps you praying. That's for sure. Um, and in no way am I saying I'm an expert. I'm just going off of what I've seen on the news and um, what I've read. Um, I did also read that Vice President um, Harris was getting some slack because she was taking a trip to, where did she go? Asia? I can't remember exactly where she went, but she was getting criticized for doing that instead of going to Afghanistan. And in my mind, I'm like, why would she go over there? Y'all trying to get her killed? Like, that didn't make sense to me. And I hope I got that wrong. I hope I, I read that wrong and heard that wrong as to why they were upset with her. Or maybe they didn't think she should be taking a trip at all because of the situation. Um, but if they were upset because she was still continuing on with this particular trip, I, I don't get it. Or not because you thought that she should go to... Afghanistan instead because the situation that makes absolutely no sense to me why she needed to go over there at all so yeah that that was in the news um 
Oh, and then I read that Steph Curry's mom and dad are getting a divorce, depending on who side you're on. If somebody cheated. They're both accusing each other. It's just heartbreaking. I read um, where somebody said that they thought they looked at them as the perfect couple and their family was just so perfect the way their kids are with their significant others and then how they were as parents supporting both of their boys and their daughter and hey it, it's one of those things you never know what a person goes through behind closed doors you just don't know I mean they've been together I think since college um that's a long time to throw in the towel like I would like to believe that I've been married that long we gonna ride this out we we gonna stay in counseling if we got to go two three times a week you know, if we need a break, I'm going to go and sleep in the guest room a night. You can take a night. I, like, I just can't imagine being getting divorced after being married to somebody for 30 years. Like, they're in their mid-50s. And not, not saying that it's too late to start over, because it's not. That's still very young. But at the same time, it's just like, why? Why would you... Um, want to start over, especially because the dating game is no joke. Y'all heard me talk about it. It's hard. It is so hard to date in general, but as you get older, it gets harder because you are kind of set in who you are and you really just can't grow with somebody. You've got to be willing to accept each other for who and what you are. There's, there's really not any changing per se that's going to take place. So I just can't imagine being married to somebody for 30 plus years and then divorcing them unless there was some type of abuse, you know, and I guess emotional e abuse, maybe there was some emotional or verbal abuse. Who knows? Nobody was there, but it's just sad to hear that, um, that they weren't able to make it. And it doesn't sound like there's that chance where they might decide not to get divorced and they just kind of work through it. It doesn't sound like that's even an option right now, but nothing's too hard for God. Anything is possible. And I can only imagine what it's like for their kids to have all this played out, you know, in the public eye. Um, and a lot of, you know, memes are going around talking about, oh, Sonia or Sonia um, Curry is single. Oh, I'm about to get in her DMs or I'm about to shoot my shot or whatever. You know, that has to be hard on their kids, even though they're grown, you know, and their grandkids. I think that divorce in general is, is hard. But when you're like in a public eye, I think it intensifies that. So, yeah, that that was shocking um, when I read that. Um, R. Kelly's trial has started. And just some of the stuff that's been reported. Um about his trial that's that I mean it it shouldn't be shocking because if you watched um surviving Art Kelly a lot of it was on there but I remember when I watched surviving Art Kelly I was just like what am I watching like is this really true and if so what was his team doing like I say this all the time. It is so important to have a solid team around you who are not just yes people because it, the more successful you become, if your ego is out of control, you need somebody who can reel you in to keep you together and keep you intact. You know, it, it easily explains how people end up getting strung out on drugs. You know, um, they end up getting some type into some type of legal trouble. Um, because it's usually they have the money and the means and they can do whatever they want to do. Um, but, you know, it, it came out that he not only was grooming young females, allegedly, but he allegedly was grooming young boys for abuse as well. And, um, you know, there's already been some, some testimony that was just like, what? How do you get to that point? with it it just it's just crazy um i know he was able to you know be found not guilty in his trial several decades ago but i don't think it's going to happen this time i think that r kelly is going to end up going to prison and going to be doing some time now god has the final say anything's possible with god his prayer warriors may be praying maybe they'll get him some mental help but it's too much. It's too much. I just hate that our community 
I said this before, it seems like our community is not good at protecting our own or helping our own get on or stay on the right track, whereas other cultures do that. So yeah, our Kelly trial, um, we'll have to see what the outcome of that is going to be. Um, what else has been in the news? Um, so Shikari Richards, I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, the young lady who was disqualified from the Olympics because she tested positive for marijuana and admitted that she did do it because her bio, she found out her biological mama passed away. Well, she had another race and she raced the against the Jamaicans who took gold, silver, and bronze in the Olympics. It was thought she was going to be able to beat them because she beat them before. But not only did she not beat them, but she came in like last place, I think ninth place out of everybody that was running. And that was so not expected. And, you know, maybe she wasn't training like she was, you know, supposed to when she was off, you know. Um, I know she did some videos, music videos, and, you know, she had a lot of other stuff that she was getting involved in. So maybe she wasn't trained. She had not been training pop properly to be able to be successful in a race but I don't think that it's over for her I really think that she's going to be able to come back I think she's going to be able to redeem herself um that now now there's some you know conversation that she and the Jamaicans are into it with each other or they're like they're shooting shots at each other talking about each other for those of you that don't mean what don't know what shooting shots is it's not literally shooting a gun it's they're just into it they're arguing um, about, you know, who's the best, like, you know, making, liking negative comments and sharing negative comments that somebody else has made, that sort of thing. I, that's unfortunate. Um, I just hate that that happened, but it, it's the world that, that we live in. And I really think that this culture thrives off of drama <clears throat> and negativity. Um, you know, that's how people make money. Um, that's how they become popular. It's almost like any any press is better than none. I don't live by that. I, I don't want any negative press or negative attention towards me. That's not how I, I live. But anyway, guys, <clears throat> it's 10 minutes till my appointment. I'm going to go ahead and go in, but I think because I've talked so much so far, I think I'm going to do my dentist appointment completely separate from this video. So if you want to see my dentist cleaning and all that, stay tuned for the next video. Again, if this is your first time here, hi, how are you? Welcome. If it's not your first time, welcome back. How have you been? Either way, I'm excited to have you here checking us out on our channel. I appreciate it if you would click the like button. By clicking the like button, you're letting YouTube know that you're enjoying the content on this channel. And it will allow our channel to be presented to other YouTube users who enjoy, enjoy similar content. I also ask that you um, may, leave me a comment. I always respond back to my comments. Um, and I ask that you would subscribe. If you're not a part of the family, join the family. We're trying to grow our family. And we want you to be a part of it. So hit the subscribe button. And then... Um, in order to continue to try to grow our channel, I need you to share, 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 share. Share this video with other YouTube watchers that you know that enjoy watching vlogs and different the different content that we have on this channel. We would love to have you and your friends. So before I get out of here, I do want to leave you with this. Remember, the plans for your life have already been designed. It's just up to you to trust the planner. Have a good one, everybody. Just hanging out with... Oh, yeah.